we're going to add some additional packages to Atom to give it extra functionality. Now, we can do this in a couple of different ways. One way that we can do this is if I go to Atom Preferences and click on Packages, I will see I have my installed packages that I can work with. So it can show me those packages that I have already installed on my computer. So I can see packages that are currently there. Because we are going to be using Terminal in this course, we will be able to install our packages through the command line in Terminal. So to install the packages in Terminal, we just need to know our script to be able to do that. Now that script is available in a few places. I have posted on D2L, I have posted the script. And so can, to understand what this is saying, this is Atom Package Manager install. And one of the first ones we want to install is Beautify. And what Beautify does is when we run that, it will clean up the line breaks and indents for our code so that if you're sloppy when you type in your code, it's going to make it look all nice and pretty so that you will have properly balanced indents and line returns. The drag and drop allows you to highlight text and drag it, which it doesn't natively do, which is also one of the downfalls of uh, brackets. Browser Plus allows you to run a local version of the browser, much like the connecting of live pre preview in brackets. And Open in Browser allows you to right-click on any file that you have and open it in your current web browser, which is a really handy thing to do. So then you don't have to go to your web browser, choose File Open, or drag over. You can just right-click, quick, choose Open in Browser, and that's a nicer way of working. So we can install these from the command line, but we will have to do one thing first to be able to do that. Back in Atom, we have to go under Atom and select Install Shell Commands. And when we do that, that will enable us to run Atom or access Atom from Terminal. It may prompt you to type in your password. Mine have already it's already been installed. So it's just giving me the, the completed message, and I can now say OK. So Packages shows me what I have installed. Install allows me to search for additional packages to add to my Atom install. So these would be featured ones. We can see how many people have downloaded a given package. So if I wanted a clock in the status bar, I don't know why, but if I wanted one, or wanted to learn more about this particular package, I can click on it and I will see that it now gives me information. Specifically, it's even giving me my install script that I can use inside of Terminal. So I could install it that way. If I'm doing it through the visual editor here in settings inside of Atom, I could just click install and it's done. If I'm doing one package at a time, that's the easiest way to do it. But if I wanted to install these four packages, or if there's even more packages that you find in your own install of Atom you use at home, you might take that four that I have provided, add to that file, so then you sit down in class and you paste that into Terminal and it will install all those packages with one paste command. It's a pretty slick way of working. Now, if I go back to install, we can see they're also published on Adam's webpage, adam.io, and we'll see that there's a lot of different packages. Now, if there's a particular package that I was looking for, such as open in browser, I would see that here are a few options. I could try different ones. And if they don't work very well, I can uninstall them, try a different one.
So there's no harm in installing multiple packages to customize your Atom to work better for you. Because the more efficient you can make your tools, the more enjoyable it becomes to do your work. So what we're in Atom, if I wanted to install individual packages, so if I was looking for Beautify, and we can see, so here is Beautify, here's one version, and click on it and see, here it is. I can see that 2.2 million people have downloaded it. So, next version, Unibeautify, okay, whatever. So we can see that there's options available for it. And if I decide that that's what I want to do, then I could install it. So any of the ones that I've provided, you don't have to use. They're just ones that I'm currently using in my own workflows. And I've installed them here, that's why I'm choosing to use them. So to make them run in my web browser, all right, sorry, I can go find the script. So if I want to do Adam Beautify, I can now do all of these at once, or I can copy one line at a time. So I would copy it, go to Terminal, Paste, and when I hit Return, it's now installing it. Now, it's already installed, so it's not really going to do anything. You can see it finished installing. I get the little green check. And now I'm back to the prompt and terminal waiting for me to type something else in. So I can copy paste each one of those. I can highlight all four lines and paste it and it will just do all four of them. And then you're done. And then your Atom will be updated with all of these awesome features that will allow you to work a little bit more efficiently.